have new information tonight about the crash on I-94 that left two Moorhead teenagers dead near Dalton, Minnesota. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Ray Qualvog, father of Zach and Connor, says it's about finding the truth and closure. The Minnesota State Patrol is asking the public for their help in identifying a semi-trailer that's believed to be involved in the crash that killed the Moorhead boys. The semi has a dark blue cab, and you can see here the picture on your screen. We first brought them to you this morning on ValleyNewsLive.com. The semi is a late 80s or mid 90s Kenworth model tractor with a sleeper area. The trailer is white. Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop joins us with what the father, Ray Qualvog, of the two brothers, has to say. Ashley? One step closer. These are just a few of the words Ray Qualvog used when it came to finding closure for his two sons, Zach and Connor. Qualvog says it was a combination of people that helped figure out and find the pictures of the truck. Once the investigation was closed, Ray says it was his mother's idea to check all the videotapes they received from the investigators. The Qualvogs, along with Minnesota State Patrol, looked through the videos and determined that the dark blue semi was in the vicinity during the time of the crash because the time the truck went through the Red River scale and later passed a State Patrol squad car. Ray Qualvog says that his wife and him will continue to work and find closure. I'm just, and my wife, we're just a type of people in a lot of different ways in life. We, we don't like things undone, if you will. And this is just undone. We just, and uh, we just need, we need the truth and we need that closure. And then we can move on from this. The Qualvogs say their billboard signs will not be going away and will continue to offer $50,000 reward for more information locating the semi and what caused the crash. New billboards are in the works and will have pictures of the semi truck on them. All right, Ashley, thank you. If you have any tips regarding the semi, give the Minnesota State Patrol a call. Coming up tonight at 6, hear more from the father about he, how he says that this step forward for the family is what he believes his sons would have wanted.